Hello my small fat adapted family and welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? Where I find uh, food, sometimes devices, gadgets, things that might help you on your keto way, something a little bit different. And this is all coming from the opinion of someone who has been in ketosis for four years. Today, we're talking about cheese wisps, also known as cheese crisps. Now I know what you're thinking, but Elliot, You've put in the thumbnail, cello wisps. But Elliot, you've put in the description, cello wisps. No, you're right, they're not by cello, but they're still cheese wisps, cheese chips, cheese crisps, whatever you like to call them. They're made out of cheese. I've had a look into the sort of nutritional value of um, cello wisps versus these ones, and they're more or less the same. So I thought I could use them to describe why, and I'll tell you why soon, why I haven't actually got cello wisps or cello wisps whichever way you pronounce it so if you're looking at getting cheese crisps you're looking at about ten dollars for uh, nine and a half ounces in america and that's buying cellos if you're looking specifically for the known version of cheese crisps in england you're looking at about 40 quid up for cello ones uh, because of postage and packaging and things and it's just it, it, real quite expensive for nine and a half ounces however there are alternatives such as the ones that I have tried and uh, kind of basing everything I say today off of and they come in at one pound 20 per 24 grams and you can get them from Waitrose so per 100 grams or three and a half ounces you're looking at around about 42 grams of fat 47 grams of protein and zero grams of carbs yeah zero grams of carbs i'm going to run a video now of me trying them for the first time because i completely forgot to get it nicely at home on a camera so it ended up being recorded um i came across them in a farm shop to begin with uh, in my area and i was eating them on the way back to the car and this was my reaction to them uh, we're currently out at some sort of farm shop and obviously I've come across the thing we're having and <laughs> I've I've actually got goosebumps <laughs> from trying it uh, for the first time. <laughs> I'm also going to run a video of me eating them uh, so that you can see what they sound like, what they look like, textures, things like that. But I know I have no self-control and I'll end up doing this entire video whilst eating them. So I've done a very short clip. So those of you that hate the sound of somebody crunching and chewing don't have to put up with it. So pros, they are super, super low carb at no grams. How amazing is that? They're brilliant for people like me who cannot make their own cheese crisps. There's loads of recipes on how to make your own cheese crisps in the oven. Mine always come out burnt, they come out greasy, they come out just not tasting nice at all. They're thin, oh, they're just, I can't do it. I can't get the grips with it. I'm gonna just keep trying, but for now, I've got my lovely cheese crisps whilst I try and figure out how to do it myself. Just talking about that I can't do them and thinness of them, these are super thick, as you just saw in the video. They're nice and thick and uh, crunchy like they should be. They're nice and crunchy, they're not greasy. The same texture as croutons, that just chewing into something, just that does that when you chew into it, just absolutely lovely. And cellos or cellos ones, and those ones, the oven baked cheese snack ones are both lacto free and allergen free which means if you're someone like me who really shouldn't be having lactose because you're intolerant you can scoff away on these without a problem they're a good fail safe food to carry around with you if you're buying the big 9.5 ounce bag in america i would suggest you portion them out however if in england you get 24 grams that's a nice sort of same size as a crisp packet, I guess. 
that you can literally just pop in your bag and take to work with you or wherever else you need to go with fail-safe foods. They're really, really nice on soups and in salads. They're like, as I said, they're like croutons. They're, they're a real nice, just extra sort of texture taste. They're not advertised as keto friendly or anything. They're advertised as snacking in salads and in soups. Some brands, you can get different flavors. So different types of cheese, um, Asiago cheese, Parmesan cheese, um, Gouda, I believe I've seen an Emmental. They're one, one ingredient and that ingredient's cheese. There's no additives, there's no extras, there's no preservatives. It is just cheese. What more could you want from something you are buying commercially than it to be no carbs and one ingredient? How often do you find something like that? And they are, as I said earlier, with the uh, macro breakdown, they are a great source of fat and proteins without nasty carbs getting in the way. So the pros and the cons, ones you can see as either positives or negatives, they are super, super addictive. I came across these a few months ago and it's taken me this long to do a video because every time I buy them, I eat them all without doing the video. It has taken me so, so long to get to this point where I've said, no, you don't eat them until you've done the video. And funnily enough, I ate them earlier to record me eating them because I wanted to eat them earlier rather than now on the video. <laughs> Accessibility is actually a pro and a con for once. Usually it's a, a con with keto items. If you're in America, you can go to your local Costco. I believe um, a few targets do it, but predominantly it's known for being in Costco. You can go and get yourself some wisps quite easily. And if you don't have a Costco membership, I'm sure you know somebody that has a Costco membership or even I'm sure you can talk to a group about them buying some and shipping them over to you. It's, it's a lot more accessible online and in stores in America. The reason I've put it under cons as well is that in England, I, I hadn't even heard of it. I hadn't even heard of it. I'm not gonna pronounce it. It's all, you know, predominantly in Italian. And it took me finding it in a little dinky farm shop just next to some soups. I just thought I'll just have a look because that's what I do. I look at everything when I go into shops because you never know. And I came across them and I had to sit there and Google where to find them. And I found them luckily in Waitrose, but some Waitroses don't do everything that others do. And I haven't seen them in any other stores in England. Another pro slash con is that they have very, very bold flavor. They are very, very cheesy. You know when you melt cheese down and it just starts to harden? It's that taste, that really nice, cheesy, cheesy taste. And I know some people, even in ketosis, don't really like the taste of cheese. So it's a pro for people like me that love cheese, despite the fact I shouldn't be eating it because I'm lactose intolerant. And other people that don't like the cheese, it'll be a con for you. And the cons, it's price. They are quite pricey. I mean, if you if you compare them to high carb crisps or chips, or just buying hard cheese, it is quite pricey. But you're buying partly into the novelty of having a small bag of sort of crisps. So, is it worth it? Have you seen me have so many positive things to say about a product with so little cons? Yeah, absolutely, a solid 9.5 out of 10 for is it worth it? Whether you're new to keto or you've been doing keto for a long time, everyone needs to try these on their keto journey because they are really something, especially for those who miss crisps or chips. That's all from me this week, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything you want me to find and give a review for. Keep calm, keto on. I'll see you next time.